You're probably sick of hearing automotive experts rant about how electric power steering is ruining cars. And yet you probably don't know why your car has electric power steering in the first place, do ya? At the dawn of time, there was no such thing as power steering, so you needed to look like this schmuck just to park your car. And then, hydraulically assisted power steering in the 1950s. And it took car companies literal decades to tune it to feel natural. And just when they got it right, they killed it in favor of electric power steering. Why? Because ePass has a lot of benefits, first and foremost, efficiency. It uses a little motor mounted either on the rack or the column that doesn't do anything unless it's actively helping you turn the car. Hydraulic systems, on the other hand, have a high pressure pump that's running at all times, wasting gas while you're driving straight down the highway. Because ePass can turn the wheels itself, it enables things like autopilot, lane keeping assist, road crown compensation, crosswind assist, and the mother of all annoying things, self-parking. Because if you can't park your car yourself, you shouldn't be driving it in the first place. But it also has a huge safety benefit. Power steering fluid is basically easier to light on fire than gasoline. So removing it from the car removes a safety risk, especially a post-crash safety risk. And then there's isolation. Putting a motor on the steering system acts like a dampener. It's like putting your hand on a wine glass. It stops the vibration, which means you don't feel things you don't wanna feel, like a tire out of balance, which actually is a pro and a con. And that's the big con of electric power steering is that you don't feel a goddamn thing. You'll notice that the list of advantages is far bigger than the list of disadvantages, which is why your car has electric power steering. Oh, except for the real reason, which like everything else is money. Car companies no longer develop their own steering systems, they use suppliers for that. And suppliers have realized that it's cheaper and easier to build electric power steering systems and they're more reliable, reducing warranty claims. So they've stopped developing hydraulic systems leaving car companies with absolutely no choice but to use electric power steering. The last holdout is McLaren, which with typical British restraint has said, piss off you bunch of twats, the steering experience is far more important than fire safety. And that is why we love McLaren. For more obnoxious yet insightful videos on the proper care and feeding of cars, don't forget to subscribe to the ECME YouTube channel.